Hi there. Well, I have a lovely English-made diesel engine to share with you today. And it's a real classic and a classic of quality with a reputation for great running and easy starting. This is the 2cc ED Competition Special. Now, this engine came out in December of 1947 and it came hot on the back of the previous ED engine, the Penny Slot. And I think these were made way into the 1950s, almost to the end of the 1950s possibly. And they really are classic engines. So let's take a closer look. So here we have our lovely ED competition special. And this version here, we can see from the serial number, came out in 1948. You can see the, the eight there just after the slash. And that's what that indicates. I just I think these are just such a classic look. Now this is an all original engine except for the fuel tank which has got a, a faithful reproduction. The original fuel tanks uh, would move a little bit with the the fuel they weren't totally fuel proof and this faithful reproduction is made of a, a much better material so I'm, I'm quite happy with that it's it's a really nice tank. Now I said these are good quality engines and you can see this in, if we take off the, the spinner nut, we've got the prop driver and a, a prop washer and you can see there's a split bushing on that or a slit, split shaft which goes in the centre of the propeller and that just goes over like that to clamp the prop and then of course the, uh, the spinner nut, this lovely huge spinner nut goes on the front. Really, really nice looking. We can also see just in here, there's a dark band and this is a, a cast iron bushing for the crankshaft. Again, another good sign of quality. Now, if we turn this on top, we can see that the, there's a lever here which is for an engine stop, an engine cutout. And basically, in the back of the Venturi here, there is a small hole. And I don't know whether we can see that, whether it shows up, but essentially you turn this round to expose that hole and it leans the engine out to such a point that the engine will just, uh, will just die. And we'll try that out in a bit when we get it in the engine, uh, in the engine test stand. We can see here we've got made in England on the back of the, uh, the crankcase housing here. So as you can see, a fantastic looking engine. And as I said, a, a real engine of quality and, and just a great looking uh, retro engine. And I can't wait to get this in the test stand and to, uh, and to see how it runs. Now, despite this engine being 75 years old, it has really strong compression and lovely smooth bearings. So there's just one thing left to do. We've got to get this in the test stand and see how it runs. Well, I've got this lovely old competition special clamped in the test stand and I'm dead excited to get it running. I've got a 10x6 prop and I'm going to be running it on this Model Technics D1000 diesel fuel. So, can't wait to get this thing fired up now.
<laughs> well, that cut out worked lovely. <laughs> well, that ran beautifully. Took a little bit of time to warm up, to just find the right settings, to get the needle and the, and the compression right. But it ran really nice and it held a lovely steady 6,000 RPM. I mean, for a, what is it, 50, 60, 70, 70 year old, 75 year old engine, that ran absolutely beautifully. And I am dead pleased with it. And you know what, I can't wait to get this into a lovely vintage model and seeing it, this engine pulling it around the skies. This is such an exciting engine to run. They really are nice. So thanks very much for watching and I really hope you enjoyed seeing this run as much as I enjoyed running it.